In our third series of discussions entitled Modern Marriage, Mr. Harold Nicholson and his wife, the distinguished novelist Vita Sackville West, share with us their thoughts on the foundation of a modern marriage. I didn't sign a marriage contract. I negotiated one. And I found a great deal more flexibility than I was brought up to expect. Would you agree? I would. Marriage is less a piece of furniture and more like a plant, a living organism in need of constant nurture. It is not something we own, but something we grow. And in so doing, we are offered the opportunity to nurture it in our own image. Yes, but it does seem that men tend to regard themselves the plant and women the soil. This is a poor state of affairs for both sexes. I enjoy the qualities in myself that may be said to be masculine. And so do I, darling. Nevertheless, I would argue that the most virile woman is infinitely more feminine than the most feminine man. That kind of thinking implies damaging absolutes. That there is something necessarily passive about the feminine, and therefore that it should always be the woman who surrenders her opportunities. Now, you do agree that the joys of motherhood are sufficient compensation for any such sacrifice? Emphatically not. Are you saying that your success as a best-selling writer thrills you more than your duties as a mother? My professional success satisfies a different stomach. <laughs> Independence has no sex. 